Hey there, Eli again, coming at you from the fish room in Coventry to show off a really cool freshwater and or brackish water aquarium fish, and that is the archer fish. In this tank in front of me, I've got a half dozen uh, Burmese clouded archer fish. These guys are really interesting aquarium fish. Like I mentioned before, a lot of the archer fish species are actually brackish water fish. Many of these originate from Asia or even Australia. Uh, where they live in tidal waters that have a salinity fluctuation throughout the day. These guys being the Burmese clouded archers actually come from fully freshwater areas in the wild. So these guys are a little more suited to your freshwater tank, which is, it just makes care for them a little bit easier. However, they should be able to tolerate a little bit of salt too, if a brackish aquarium was on the list for your tank. These guys are really interesting. The, the clouded archers get a little bit smaller than some of their uh, cousins, about six inches or so in length when they're full grown. And as you see, these guys really love to hug the upper half of the water column. These guys are definitely a top dweller. And this definitely tees into their behavior in the wild. So they are called archer fish because they are actually really adept at spitting water. They can actually spit above the water in an attempt to uh, shoot bugs, basically, off of logs, off of sticks. It's a really interesting adaptation for these guys, not only to be able to see out of the water, but to also be able to spit and accurately land these streams of water to kind of prey upon bugs. Just a really interesting thing about these fish. Care of these guys is honestly not too difficult. These ones here in the shop are eating anything from flakes and pellets to bloodworms and mysis shrimp. So they are taking to a variety of foods pretty well. Of important note with these guys, with them being top dwellers and with them having this tendency of looking out of the water, they are also pretty prone to jumping out of the water. So a lot of times, if you guys have seen, especially our turtle tank, we have a handful of these guys and we had the water level drained to about halfway and we keep it there. That's a really cool way to, if you wanna see that wild behavior of them spitting, to kind of say, release some crickets in the tank and, and let them go to town. Uh, and also kind of mitigates this risk of them jumping out of the aquarium by leaving so much of a freeboard of glass above the water level so they can't escape. Otherwise, keeping a very tight fitting lid on the tank is pretty essential to making sure that they stay in the tank. With a max size of about six inches, it's important to size the aquarium properly. I would say for a single, a tank around 50 gallons is probably sufficient. If you wanted to keep a trio or more, maybe 75 to 90 gallons is a little more appropriate just so they have the swimming room to turn around when they reach that full six inch length. Archer fish do appreciate being kept in groups. I would say a group of three to six is a really good starting point if you have the room for them. And generally they are tolerant of being kept in community aquariums if you choose their tank mates pretty wisely. The archer fish are quite predatory fish and anything that can fit in their mouths is probably a no-go. So smaller tetras, neon tetras, cardinal tetras, things of that nature might end up as snacks for these guys but larger schooling fish, say rainbow fish, bottom dwelling fish like loaches, plecos, quarry cats, things of that nature, should be okay to house with these guys as well. Generally in the wild, the archer fish only live a couple of years, maybe two or three. However, in captivity, if they're well taken care of, I'm seeing reports of them living up to even 12 years, so they can be a really long lived, rewarding pet in the long run if you do decide to keep them. So as I mentioned with our turtle tank too, with the water level being drained halfway, that kind of lends the idea of a paludarium setup for these guys, uh, something where maybe above the waterline, live plants could be kept in the aquarium in kind of an effort to emulate like a natural environment for these guys. It kind of lends the idea of doing a whole natural setup, like more of a bioactive aquarium where you have maybe soil and substrate and live plants above the tank with live bugs uh, and things for these guys to prey upon and also just kind of an interesting concept with a full altogether ecosystem in a tank of that nature. Uh, just a very interesting kind of new way to keep an aquarium that these guys would be really suitable for. That being said, if you wanted to do something like that where you had maybe a half water level in your aquarium or the water level below the glass, have to be careful about picking your filtration. Generally going with canister filters is a very easy way to make sure that your filter will still draw water at a lowered water level. Similarly, sponge filters in a more temporary setup or a fish room setup would be pretty appropriate as they still lend the ability to lower the water level while the filters still run. 
However, your typical hang on back filtration generally does not work with the water levels that low. Either they become a little too noisy to be tolerable in the room, or they draw too much air and will lose their siphon pretty quickly. Additionally, a drilled aquarium, something that you can run a sump beneath, kind of like our turtle tank here at OSA Coventry, uh, with a modified overflow to uh, leave that water level at about half height would be a little more appropriate. Uh, to keep that water level pretty stable in the aquarium as well. So archer fish, really interesting kind of rare aquarium fish to come across with these Burmese clouded archers being a very appropriate fish for a freshwater style aquarium. Worth checking out if you didn't get the chance to see them yet. Thank you guys as always for watching. Let us know in the comments if you have suggestions or questions and thank you for watching.